I had never really baked bread from scratch. So it was something, a new experience. I've been making this since 1977. I went to the second CAGE conference, which is the Conference on Alternatives in Jewish Education. They were going to make challah, but then I guess the health department said, no, you couldn't do that. So they gave us this recipe. It was at a time when there were a lot of these young Jewish kids. They just had all these new ideas about invigorating their Judaism and making things meaningful and one of the couples that were there um, wrote the Jewish catalog, which had, went through all the holidays and told the traditions and how to make challah and how to make candles and how to make wine out of raisins and all these things to do yourself to make your holidays more meaningful. And I just thought it was so wonderful. I loved it. And uh, this conference, they had all different classes or workshops that you could take, learning things. I came home and I made hella. <laughs> it was just the idea of lighting candles and having time to sit and have a meal with your parents. My dad used to always have the, the news and you couldn't talk. And I think just the idea of having a Shabbat dinner with nothing turned on and you have time to talk. I make phone calls, but that, those are phone calls to friends who are home and that kind of thing, not work. About a month ago, my cousin's husband passed away, and she has two daughters, and they're both married and have children. And they didn't have a shiva because she says, we're not that religious, we're not going to be what we're not going to so, But I felt so bad that they weren't, that they wouldn't have family around them when they needed it. So I invited them for Shabbat and it was wonderful. I know they appreciated being with family on Shabbat and it was really something very special and I was glad that I did that.